Hello guys, welcome once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how to move Hyper-V virtual machine running on a Windows 10 PC to Hyper-V running on a Windows 11 PC. So you mostly want to do this if you are moving from one PC to the other. And in my case, I need to mention that in my case, I, I was tasked to move all the data from this Windows Windows 10 PC to a newer Windows 11 PC. So I needed to copy the files and the folders on this PC, including the applications on this PC, to a newer Windows 11 PC. So it became necessary that I also moved the Hyper-V data and then the virtual machine running in the Hyper-V on the Windows 10 to the newer Windows 11 PC. So I'm going to take you through how to um, move this um, virtual machine running in Hyper-V on the Windows 10 PC to the Windows 11 PC without any hassle or tussle at all. So stick and stay to learn how to do this. So if you have the virtual machine, in my case, I had the virtual machine pinned to the taskbar so I could open it from there. If you don't have it pinned on your taskbar, you can always search for it in the search box by typing Hyper-V and then clicking on it when it shows in the results. So in my case, I have this virtual machine running um, in the or on the host. It's called a Win 10 underscore 32 VM. So when you right click on it and then click the connect, it will actually open the virtual machine for you to use it. So this is the virtual machine running on this Windows 10 PC. It's also a Windows 10 um, operating system, but it's a 32-bit um, operating system running on the running as a virtual machine on the host. The host is a 64-bit operating system, so you can always do that. You can run a 32-bit as a virtual machine on a 64-bit um, host PC. So you can see the files and folders and the application shortcuts on the virtual machine's desktop. And then when we move it to the Windows 11 also, you will see that the same files, folders, um, application shortcuts will be shown there. So let me show you quickly where the virtual machine's data resides. So it resides on a separate partition. We, I, I named SunPay because that's a virtual machine we use to do some things, some work with some payments and stuff. So. So when you open that up, uh, partition, you open, you will see the Hyper-V folder there. Inside the Hyper-V folder, we have the virtual machine name. And then inside the virtual machine name, we have the snapshot, virtual hard disk, and then the virtual machines. So wh what we are going to focus on is the virtual hard disks folder. You can see that there are two files in there um, that we are going to use when we move this data onto the Windows 11 PC. We're actually going to use the second file in the virtual hard disks folder. So that is the, the Hyper-V folder. That is where the data for the virtual machine or virtual machines are kept on this particular Windows 10 PC. So the next thing is to turn off the virtual machine because we are going to um, move the data um, we are going to copy the data onto an external hard drive so we want a successful copy or a copy without any interruptions because if you don't turn it off if you don't turn the virtual machine off when you copy it it will give you error message even after turning the virtual machine off you should also go into services so click on in the search box and then type services click on the resulting services app to open the services window click any of the services and then press H to go into the Hyper-V colon so you will see that some of the services Hyper-V services will be running make sure to right click on it and then select the stop option to stop the services from running do the same for the other Hyper-V services that are running to stop them completely. This will ensure that you copy the Hyper-V data without any interruptions. So I will right click on the Hyper-V folder, 
select copy and then while that was going on i attached a an external hard drive it's a two terabyte external hard drive i will open it click on the new folder icon to create a new folder call it backup and then open that backup folder and then paste the hyper v folder hyper v folder or data in that backup folder on the external hard drive so when this um, copy is done we are going to move the external hard drive to the windows 11 pc and then copy the hyper v folder or data onto the windows 11 pc so the size of the the backup or the hyper v folder is um, and the data is 57.6 gig and then when you open them you can see that everything has successfully copied onto the external hard drive so i will eject this hard drive and then take it to the windows 11 pc i will eject it from the windows 10 pc and then attach it to the windows 11 pc so you can see the safe removal notification there so on the windows 11 pc i will quickly check if the hyper v um, feature is enabled by searching for it by uh, typing hyper v in the search box and then the results was empty the, I, would, I didn't get any results for the hyper v um, application so it means we have to enable it in the add and remove programs or programs and features by going to control panel so search for control panel click on it click on programs click on programs and features and then on the left click on 10 windows features on and off or on or off select hyper v checkbox in the list and then click ok to install the feature on your windows 11 piece so that is how basically to um, install a feature on a windows 11 pc or windows 10 pc click reboot now or restart now to restart um, the pc the windows 11 pc to for for the changes to take effect when the reboot is done click in the search box again and then type hyper v click on the hyper v manager to open the hyper v manager window for you so you can see the host machines name there which is serving as the server for the hyper-v manager the next thing we are going to do is to attach the external hard disk we copied the backup onto all the hyper-v virtual machine data onto attach it to the windows 11 pc open the file explorer select the external disk to open it and then we are going to look for the backup folder open the backup folder and then we are going to copy the hyper v folder select right click on it select the copy icon and then we are going to put it in the local disk c so open the local disk c if you have um, another partition you can put it on the separate partition without necessarily putting it on the um, local disk c but i had only one partition which is the local disk c so i pasted it on there and then waited for the copy to be done to continue so the copy is done now we can continue with the um, setup so you can see inside the virtual hard disk folder we have those two files um, we are going to need to complete this um, setup next we are going to go into hyper v and then continue from there so in the hyper v manager right click on the host's name in this case it's waybridge pc select new select new virtual machine to open the new virtual machine wizard read through the instructions and then click next over here you want to give your virtual machine a name you can call it any name you can give it a name as it was on the windows 10 pc or you can give it an entirely new name so i'll just call it win 10 vm make sure not to select the store the virtual machine in a different location click next over here you want to select the recommended um, generation one 
click next um give your virtual machine a, a, a startup memory or ram i will leave the default which is um 1496 megabytes which converts to four gigabytes click next and then select default switch click next again so the default switch just um, enables your PC or your virtual machine to connect to the host network. In the next um, window, you want to select um, use an existing virtual hard disk. If we were creating an entirely new virtual hard disk, we would have selected the first option. So select the second option and click browse. Browse into the local disk C, browse into the Hyper-V folder and then into the virtual hard disk folder but when you browse into the virtual hard disk folder you can see that um, I only have one virtual hard disk here initially we saw two it means one is not showing and this is not what I am looking for so how then do I make sure that I see the second virtual hard disk so go into the file explorer again open the Hyper-V folder the data we moved from the windows 10 go into the virtual hard disk and then you can see that we are looking at two um, virtual hard disks here one has an icon of a disk and then the other doesn't have an icon at all the icon is just white and then when you right click on the first one you can see that the extension is dot vhdx but the second one has an extension of dot avhdx which is what is causing this very issue which is causing the file not to show up when we browse for it so what are we going to do about it so to fix this we need to change the extension of the second file to a dot vhdx so we're going to take out take away the a in the extension but before that, if in your case you don't see the extension, click on view, click on show, and then select file name extensions. And then this would um, show the extensions for the VHD files. So you can see that the extensions are showing there. So right click on the second file and then select rename or click more options, select rename and just take out the A in the extension select yes to agree to the warning and now you can see that that files icon has also changed to a disk um, icon just as the first one so go back to the Hyper-V again click browse browse into the folder click the local disk C where we put the backup Hyper-V, the virtual machines, virtual hard disk and then now you can see that the second one is showing. That has the latest um, data. So select it, click next and then view a summary of your virtual hard disk um, and then click the finish button to complete the setup. By default when you create, when you add a VM um, it is off by default so right click on it click connect click start to start the virtual machine for you and then you will have a running a successfully running virtual machine on your windows 11 host pc give it some time for it to do its own configuration and now you can see the the sign in login um, credentials we saw on the Windows 10, the same thing has been transferred or moved to this Windows 11 PC. Accept the network um, notification, and you can see that the same number of files and uh, application shortcuts are on the desktop of the virtual machine. So, yes, guys. We've gone through how to move a virtual machine and its data from a Windows 10 PC, um, from a Hyper-V manager running on a Windows 10 PC 
onto Hyper-V running on a Windows 11 PC. So kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click the like button if this was helpful. Share the video, turn on notifications for all, and then I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye.